Welcome to my craft area. I'm Anna Hellman and I'm so glad you're here with me today. Let's look at today's project. I have a stamp set that I have really been loving using so I decided to make up a video today to highlight one the stamp set and two a really simple card design that you can make up lots of cards in just minutes. So let's look at the stamp set first. It is called Punch Party. And the reason it's called Punch Party is because it coordinates with a whole bunch of our stamps. Now, I say a whole bunch. Technically, it's made up to coordinate with the Heart Punch Pack, the Rectangular Postage Stamp Punch, and the Double Oval Punch. But what I have found is these words and phrases and images coordinate with a lot more punches than that. So let's look at the card design for today. You will notice some similarities on these. Each one has one large piece of designer paper on the front and then a strip over top of the strip. I've attached a punch that I created with this punch party stamp set. So the measurements for the designer paper are the large piece measures three and three quarters inch by five inch and the small piece measures one inch by five and a half inches. So let's look at these real quick and then we are going to create one more right here together. So here's one with some hydrangea paper, this cute baby greeting. Oh baby, you are already loved more than you know. I actually used two heart punches, the one that is straight on the edges and then the one that is scalloped on the edges behind it with that decorative stamp. Thought that turned out cute. Here is one with I think this is flower and field paper. And with this one, I use that postage stamp punch to punch out the background. Then I stamp the same image a second time. And I actually punched that out with a one and one quarter inch circle punch. So I was able to pop that part up like that. Here's one, some true love paper. And I really like this greeting. So you can use smiles for every moment of your special day. So I thought this was nice for a really simple wedding card. Here we have a heartfelt thanks for everything. I am absolutely loving this double oval punch. You will be seeing it a lot, I guarantee. So I stamped that piece in the background with the larger, the larger background piece, and then I punched this one out with a smaller one and popped it up. Here we have Oh Baby. The Oh Baby stamp was, it, it fits inside of the heart, is designed to fit inside of the heart, but you can punch it out just with a circle as well. I believe that was a one and three quarter inch circle. Then I matted it with a two inch. Here is another one I did with that double oval. I really like that this, so the round stamp here is separate from any of the words. So you can stamp lots of different words inside of that. This one has a heartfelt thanks for everything. This one has bravo. This one has hope you feel better really soon. We also have one that says happy birthday. This is some of that fun berry paper I'm loving. So let's create one more of these. So I have my Seaside Spray card base, my piece of large designer paper, my piece of small designer paper. I'll flip those over so that they're ready for some adhesive. The greeting we're going to use on this one, I decided to use a punch I mean, we're going to combine the, that looks upside down to me. I don't know that it is, but we'll flip around. We are actually going to use the rectangular postage stamp punch and combine it with one of the oval punches since I hadn't tried that yet. So I want to stamp this postage stamp punch, stamp, stamp punch, punch stamp. Sometimes I get those words mixed up. So stamp it here and I will punch that out. Now let's go ahead and we will prepare the second one right now and then I'll do the punching. So here is the oval stamp I was talking about. That's that frame and then you can put anything you want inside of that frame. So we'll stamp that. I have some Calypso Coral ink here and then I got out the heartfelt thanks for everything stamp. I sent a lot of thank you cards. Thought that was a nice one to build up my thank you collection. Now let's punch these out. Sometimes these are some of my scrap pieces of paper and it's easier to punch these if you have a little bit extra sticking out the side. I do have a handy tip for punching 
on small pieces of paper that I should share with you sometime. Now let's do, here you can see the double oval punch and how we have the smaller oval at the bottom and then the bigger one with the decorative edge up at the top. So I'll attach the postage stamp one straight to the card and then pop up the oval with some dimensionals. When I made up this whole set, I like to let, I do all my cutting, I lay everything out, then I flip all my pieces over, put adhesive on the backs, then I flip over the, you know what, we're going to add one more piece here because it looks like this greeting in the background is going to show, but we can fix that. So here I've grabbed a piece of cardstock. I'm going to punch this with this larger oval. We'll put that right on top. And then we'll put the small oval on the very top. There are so many possibilities with these punches. The, so I'm just, I'm just highlighting a few punches here, but there are so many that would work with these Readings. I pulled out a couple here, our tailored tag punch, our, I think this one's called label me pretty punch, but just so many basic shapes that would work really well with the stamps in this set. So pull back in the samples. I have one more I'll show you that is a treat box that I created with this. Here is a fun treat box. I used that heart, and I didn't use this stamp on any of these. This one says, you make my heart happy. There may be a few more that I didn't use. I used the heart right here on this little one. There's one that says, I'm sorry. Here's a cute little flower, one that says, for you. I think I used most of the rest of those. So this is the Punch Party stamp set. Now I'll mention, this is available during celebration only through the end of February. And you can actually get this for completely free if you have a $300 party order or a $300 personal order. So if you would love to have this stamp set, you can get it for free if you either collect a few orders from your friends to get to that $300 mark, or if you really need to stock up on some supplies, you really wanna check some of those items off your wish list, you can place a $300 order yourself. Add this under the Hostess Rewards section. You will get this for absolutely free. So I hope you enjoyed this card layout. I hope this is a nice go-to one that you can use when you need to make up a lot of cards really quickly. Thanks so much for joining in today. For more information and links to the products used today, click in the video description box down below to visit my website. Make sure you also click down below to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell to receive notifications when I share new videos. I truly appreciate you being here as well as every like, share, and comment that I receive. I'll see you again next time when I'll be back helping you to hand make with love.